The entrance of God's word gives light and it brings understanding to the simple. Even as you're about listening to this message by the man of God, we hope that the light of God's word will be shed abroad in your heart. You will know what to do and you will know how to live. And so if you're new to this channel, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this message. Also go to the comment section and comment whatever you have learned. Share this message abroad because we won't always be a blessing to the world. Thank you. Shata balakata. We don't have spirit control temperaments. We have a nature that is found in Christ. We don't have spirit control temperaments. We have a nature that is found in Christ. It's not spirit controlled. The spirit itself is our nature. The spirit itself. Paul didn't say walk in the spirit and you will control the flesh. Uh -uh. He said those that are in Christ have crucified the flesh, the lost, and the affections thereof. He said, well, that is my weakness. There is no weakness in the body of Christ. What you call weakness are areas you have not allowed the word of God to dominate. What you call weakness are areas that you have not allowed the word of God to dominate. Whether they are addictions or identity crisis. They are areas of your life where you have not allowed the word of God to dominate. I am who the word says I am. Shout it two more times. Say it one more time. Tell your neighbor, don't move from revelation to the flesh. So watch this. Peter needed more information about the, the church. In other words, you know Christ by revelation. You know Christ by revelation. If you don't know Christ by revelation, you cannot know the church by revelation. Because the church is known by the sign or the signboard of Christ, not by the senses. The church is known by the signboard of Christ, not by the senses. The church is known by revelation. Every truth or every person that is found in Christ is known by revelation. Every truth or every person that is found in Christ is known by revelation. So revelation is the greatest gift after Jesus that a man will have. Revelation knowledge. And that revelation is no longer progressive. We now have that revelation in the scriptures. It is called exact truth. Exact truth. If it is exact and precise... Is not progressive. Something that is exact and precise means you have seen the end of it. And this is all that is. So when we say epignosis or revealed knowledge, we are talking about comprehensive, complete truth. You can't have epignosis and still be looking for more revelation. Epignosis is the end of discussion where knowledge is concerned. Precise and accurate. Look at Philippians chapter 3 verse 10. Philippians chapter 3 verse 10. That I may know him and the power of his resurrection. And the fellowship of his sufferings. Be made conformable unto his death. Now here's Paul. See when you read. Read in paragraph. Don't read a verse. Read the whole paragraph. Which will include the pretext and the post-text so you can have the context. 
Now by saying that I may know him, that personal pronoun already cautions you to be careful. That personal pronoun. That I, not that we. That I. So that personal pronoun is already a caution telling you, watch this and be careful here. Watch how you apply it. Now, what was Paul discussing? Someone said, even Paul said that I may know him. So we know in part. Even a whole Paul was still praying after he has finished his ministry to know him. So if we are still knowing in part, where is the other part? If we are still knowing in part, when shall we know the other part? <laughs> Uh, when we go to heaven, Adam are all this ancient God are the last assembly. No more heartbreaking, no more farewell to sorrow, victory ahead, victory ahead, victory ahead, ahead. This is the victory that overcometh the world. Even our, it is not ahead, it is victory right now. Glory to God. I told you the choir master is. In order for us to understand what Paul was saying about that I may know him, we have to read the entire paragraph. So Philippians chapter 3 verse 1, let's start. Mm -mm. Finally, my brethren, rejoice in the Lord to write the same things to you. To me, indeed, it's not grievous, but for you it is safe. Next verse. Beware of dogs. That looks like a signboard in front of my house. <laughs> Beware. Uh, eh? That's a signboard in front of the house. Beware of dogs. <laughs> so it's not today beware of dogs started <laughs> beware of evil workers beware of the concision next verse for we are the circumcision which worship God in the spirit and rejoice in Christ Jesus and have no confidence we are in the flesh I love this next verse verse 4 though I don't miss that personal pronoun. Though I might also have confidence in the flesh, if any other man thinketh that he had, he had whereof he might trust in the flesh, I more. Next verse. Circumcised the eighth day of the stock of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, and Hebrew of the Hebrews, as touching the law a Pharisee. Next verse. Concerning zeal, persecuting the church, touching the righteousness which is in the law, blameless. Next verse. Kayata. But what things were gained to me, those I counted loss. For who? For Christ. Kindly hit the subscribe button if you are new here. And also, like this message for us. Do well to comment in the comment section because we want to know what you learned and where you're watching us from. Thank you, message community.